Hello everyone, welcome to the part 3 of my tutorial videos. The project this time is this nice chair, and I believe that when you can finish this model with me, you will handle most of the basic functions of subdetails. So as Euro drag the image into Rhino and put it into the view window that you like. And for me, I think left is better. So chin right to left. And by the way, don't forget to lock the layer where the image stay in. Maybe it's hard to start when you face complex object for the first time. Don't worry. Just do the first work I've told you in the last part. Organize and clarify your modeling thinking. So as Euro, we split it into parts. And for example, I would like to build this armrest at first. This could be the main structure of this chair. And the second part is the hand leg and those connections between the leg and the armrest. And of course, the third part is the seat board and the connection. Quite easy, right? The modeling thinking is really, really important for your work. A reasonable modeling logic can make your job a lot easier. Now we can start to build. At first, I would like to use subd plan to build the structure of our armrest. Just set the first one and adjust it a little bit. Move a little bit. Now select the top edge, and during when you drag, when you press Control, you can drag a new piece of plan out. And now you can repeat this work for three or four, three, three, two, five times. And when you drag new plan out, don't forget to adjust the structure line. If the angle of the structure line is too large or too small, it will affect the model at the end. So always watch your structure and always edit those detail. And drag it one more time. And I think it's enough. When you sub detail, you don't have to build so many faces because the software will automatically make the plan smooth. And too many plans will increase the difficulty of your operation. So you always have to control the quantity of the faces of your model and try to learn how to make the best model with the fewest faces. Okay, we have finished the first plan and now we should give it a curve. We drag the edge to middle side and adjust another line. Okay. Maybe it's still a, bit, it's still a little bit far. And now you can use Reflect tool to generate the other side and check the, the whole curve. Is the whole curve perfect? If you want, you can still adjust it a little bit, but don't waste too much time on it. Now switch to left view and adjust a little bit. As you can see, the image of this chair is not 
shoot it from right side so you don't have to make the, the this, this curve plan totally as same as the picture but at first you can do this and you can adjust this at later and maybe you would like to adjust the curve in front side at and I suggest you don't bend the plan in front side the first time because all of the operation on flat is very easy but when you want to adjust some structure line on a curved surface it would be a little bit difficult now we can start to build the hind leg make a plan and use our snap tool to make sure that it stay in the middle of the chair and make it shorter and thinner and still still shorter i would like to use ray face to build the hind leg so the first piece second piece and the third piece uh, this constructor can make the can make a perfect hind leg and still use uh, control to drag the new plan out and make new two plans and drag it a little bit Okay. And now we are try to connect this two parts. At first we have to use insert tool to draw two new lines on the armrest structure. And now we connect these two lines. Maybe you don't know why. I'll show you why. So give this plan a line in the middle and zoom it in. And do it another times. and zoom it in very much to make it very small and now you can delete this face now you see this uh, little new face is the uh, connector or the port for the connection operation yes two two lines on the armrest structure and two lines on this port on this little face and now the connection is over but we still have to adjust this uh, structure a little bit because the line is a little bit chaos And you can select the uh, point one by one and adjust the face and make it look better. Don't be so perfectionist right now. Just make the structure structure reasonable. It's okay. And check it up.
and the armrest part still a little bit adjust okay I think it's good enough just make the distance between every point bigger okay the most boring part and also the most interest interesting part I like this point adjust process really really much you will see how you have make those plan became a beautiful model okay this main structure is finished but as you can see this two line is too strong and the hole is a little bit small so we need to insert two line in this two connection part uh, Loop is better. So the first one and second one. And now you can use this slide order to adjust this point. And zoom the line in, make it smaller. And this one too. Okay. And this lower plan need a structure line also, a uh, structure line too. So you slide slide two again and zoom it in okay I have to mention you have to mention when you zoom this structure line you have always to press shift that makes sure the zoom in and out always along the structure line Okay, I think the structure is totally finished. We can adjust those points on the armrest a little bit uh, because in sub D model, if two points is too close, it will make uh, it will make the whole model not so round. It will broke the perfect of a curved line or curved surface so it would be best to make the distance between every point is same The totally same is not impossible, but the distance shouldn't be so different. Okay, now we can use the uh, mirror order in, Rhino, in standard Rhino. And let's check out the effect. And we make this two part hole use join order and I'll press tap check out mm, quite nice and now you can use uh, offsets order to give it a body 
give it a shape. Maybe 10 is too long. And distance 8 is enough. Okay, better. And you can see the A on the shape is really thick. So that means you have to use uh, remove crease order to make this 8 normal. Okay, now press tab. You can see it became really perfect. You've got the basic structure of this chair. Okay, this is the end of this part. And in next video, we will finish the rest part of this chair. See you.